This is the iPhone 13 mini and I'm honest three surprised how impressive it is in the video quality, the build quality and even the display quality after three years. And there is a bunch of many details that we will cover concerning this phone. So relax and let's start by the video quality. When it comes to video quality, this iPhone has two lenses, the wide and the ultra wide. The wide has 12 megapixel lens and when shooting videos, the videos looks very vibrant especially when there is enough lighting, the dynamic range is really impressive where there is perfect balance between the crowds and even the water and overall when shooting videos, they look pretty decent and they are very respectable. You can also zoom in up to 10 times, which is still very usable and as you can see even if the details are not as crisp but they are very usable. On the other end, we have the ultra wide, it has a 12 megapixel lens and when it comes to shooting videos, the videos looks pretty decent, the color saturation looks amazing, the shooting angle also lets in a lot of details to the flames and the video quality is really superb and I think you like it. The photos taken on this phone are also pretty vibrant with a little bit warm saturation and by default there is also some photographic styles you can play with after shooting your photos. There is HDR10 plus and Dolby Vision support and the videos that comes out of this mod are clean and they look much more professional and premium and I like it. Coming to the display side, the iPhone 13 mini has a 5.4 inch XDR 6Hz display. When watching videos, videos look stunning, the colors are pretty much good and there is a lot of brightness on the screen. There is also a smaller notch on the top of the phone which supports Face ID for security purposes. The display has a through tone technology support. For those who have eyes problem, you can change the color according to your preference. The outdoor experience is good for this iPhone. It has 830 nits for manual slider brightness and it can go up to 1300 nits during HDR content. Moving to the performance, the iPhone 13 mini comes with a Bionic 15 processor. Games play smoothly even the ones with GPU and CPU demanding games. They run smoothly. Also day-to-day -day tasks run super quick and responsive. However, when it comes to the typing experience, because of its small size, the haptic feedback feels a little bit crumbled, but none other than that the scrolling experience is super snappy and enjoyable most of the time. Now addressing the elephant in the room, the battery life. This phone lasts four and a half to five hours of intensive usage. Some people may like it and some will not. And for those who are power users, you can pack in a small Apple power safe, which can re reduce it in a few minutes. And even due to its small size, you can easily calibrate it and the power safe in your pockets, which is very nice. There is also a 15 watts wireless MagSafe support, so you can charge it wirelessly, but in the charging speed is on the lower end of the spectrum. The sound quality that comes from this phone, it has two stereo speakers with a lightning charging cable, but do keep in mind you have to buy a new power brake separately if you have none. Right now the iPhone 13 mini has a sweet price of 350 bucks. And if you want to enter into content creation, I pretty much recommend this device for you. So thank you for watching till this point. Leave your opinion in the comment section. And if you love this kind of videos, Please don't forget to subscribe.